welcome back to the Rose Bush. I'm your host Rose and on today's episode I'll be discussing how one year ago today I was fired and the book saved my life. So stick around for the episode. Preparing myself for this video proved to be challenging because I wasn't sure of the direction I wanted to go. I sat here at my desk staring up at my list of to do's at a complete loss because there's so much that led up to me being fired. It's not just one thing, and I don't know how deep I want to go. So for argument's sake, let's take a look at how my 2020 started. In January, a friend of mine suffered infant loss. His death was the catalyst to my mental breakdown, and I saw a therapist the Monday following the funeral. In February, I went to the ER for severe abdominal pain. Health issues would then plague me for the next four months. In March, at the height of COVID, thinking the grass has got to be greener on the other side, I took a position in another department because I needed out of where I was. April, May, and June would prove to be my undoing. With training absent, as well as my own willingness to even be in this field dwindled, everything around me collapsed. It all just blew up. The Monday following the 4th of July, the universe set me free. It said, you're gonna be independent today. Welcome to unemployment. Listen. I am not the only one that had to go through 2020. Clearly it woke up on the wrong side of the bed, but I wouldn't change a thing. Getting fired was the best thing to ever happen to me. I was unemployed for five months and it was the best time I've ever had. I had five months to work on my mental health, to de-stress, decompress, and get my mind right. And I'm living my best life and that's the greatest gift to feel good always. That is your goal, is to always feel good. I absolutely love Dr. Mike. I've been a subscriber as long as he's been on YouTube. And in June of 2019, he posted a video recommending three books that would dramatically improve your life. The first book he presents is this one, Feeling Good, The New Mood Therapy by Dr. David D. Burns. I may be biased, but Dr. Mike's explanation of what cognitive behavioral therapy is and how beneficial it is to the treatment of depression, mood disorders, and mental health overall is incredible. It's simple and easily understandable. The link to this video is in the description below. I encourage all of you to please head on over to Dr. Mike's channel and give that video a watch. After listening to Dr. Mike's recommendations, it took me until October of 2019 to actually purchase the book. And it took me getting fired to actually read it. And that's okay because we all have our own individual timelines of healing because healing is a never ending journey. And once you get on that train, it is not stopping. So you better hold on. I will be forever grateful to Dr. Mike for his recommendation, to Dr. Burns for saving my life, and most of all to my former boss for setting me free. I wouldn't be where I am and who I am today if I'd never gotten fired. So thank you. Well, there you have it. Not too deep, but just enough. If you're interested in purchasing Feeling Good, the new mood therapy by Dr. David D. Burns, please head on over to feelinggood.com for resources and purchase options. The link is also in the description below. All right, if you're interested in following my antics on a personal level, head on over to Instagram at rosecosmos underscore underscore. Make sure you leave a comment below. Let me know that you're feeling good. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell because you never know what you're gonna get on the rose bush. So make sure you feel good always and choose happy. Always. But Dr. Mike's ex blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna keep, oh my God, GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> stop recording, GoPro, just stop recording. <laughs> stop recording, GoPro, GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> what, can I like make it stop on the iPad? GoPro, stop recording.